a mystery bag of plushies that are also scented. Yes, apparently there are like 14 different scents with different plushies. Introducing the OMG Snuggle Me plushies. Today we're going to be unboxing eight of these mystery bag of plushies, and we're going to explore whether these are worth your cash or if they go in the trash. Because it's $17 for each plushie, yes, that is USD times eight. Kitty editor, take off your calculator. You're so adorable. Look at you with your cute little glasses. Very, very cute. And then add $40 of shipping onto it. Yes, because I didn't find it here in Canada. It's in the US. And then convert all of that into Canadian dollars. I paid about $240 for these plushies. And as you can see in the back, it shows us different kinds of characters that we can collect. Anything from a bunny, a koala, a lion, a sloth, I'm guessing, but there also seems to be a unicorn. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these pets do you want to see us unbox today and whether or not we actually got it. But also look at the amazing amount of scents that we can get. Everything from pineapple, watermelon, banana, raspberry, grape jelly, creamsicle, birthday cake, Neapolitan. Isn't that like ice cream with three different flavors? I don't know how that's supposed to smell. Choco pudding. Pudding, cotton candy, cinnamon bun, and blueberry pie. I really would love watermelon, creamsicle, and cinnamon bun. Those are the three I'm going to hope for today. Again, I'm curious to know which ones you want to see. But just in case you don't like scented plushies, here we are on the Amazon post. You can see how absolutely, look, look how adorable this plushie looks. But the fact that they're scented makes it a little bit more interesting personally for me. However, you can see that they do have unscented versions at the bottom. They do have limited stock, but they do have unscented in case that's something that you prefer, which honestly is very, very considerate of them. And again, since I got these from Amazon, I can't tell if they're giving me any kind of doubles. All I can see is how adorable even the sleeping bags that they come in look like. Everything from rainbow scales on the left to clouds and more rainbow clouds, and then the whole rainbow OMG kind of vibe on the complete right. Look at that scented, oh, it's the microbeads, and it's a long lasting Duracent. Now in a previous video, we did do a scented plushie that comes straight out of the oven, and I can tell you right now it's been a few months and the plushie still smells absolutely phenomenal. So I'm hoping these plushies will be the same but look at this it's a watermelon version it's adorable and here it shows us the bag that we get them in the different kinds of sleeping bags we can get they all do look very colorful and I love me a good plushie. Also in a previous video we did test a weighted plushie and that was really amazing. If you want to check that video again I will link it down below. Listen I have ADHD. Do I like plushies? Yeah, occasionally, I guess. <laughs> And here we have a more detailed reveal, which I don't want to look at too much. So we're going to skip too much of the detailed reveal because, oh my God, that's a koala. And it looks like they won a creative award. Interesting. You know who else can win a creative award? You, if you subscribe. <laughs> So make sure you click on subscribe and all notification while you're there to join us here as the Salt Shaker family. It means you're a grain of salt and it's okay to be salty. All right, since we have eight, I don't want to see if there are any spoilers or doubles, although I do think, I do, I do think, why did I say it like that? I do think there might be at least one double. So we're gonna move everything aside. I'm just gonna reach over there. Get you down here. I'm just gonna move all the things. Wow, I think I smelled, I think I smelled watermelon. That was weird. I just got goosebumps with the shrimp. This is so far, come here. I'm gonna use my scissors, cause I have short arms. Come here, come here. There you go. All right, there it is. I have a stockpile on the floor and you are the lone one. Come here with my scissors. <laughs> Got it. All right, so here is the first one we're going to unbox. This one, we really don't get any other hint than the fact that it has two different colored eyes. But also when we look in the back over here, it doesn't show us that any of the characters have a, what is it called again? Kitty editor, what's the name for two different colored eyes? Education time with Kitty. possible that different plushies have the same different colored eyes and they could be different. Maybe it's not a double. That's why we're going to open every single one. All right, so we have our tab. I wonder if we're gonna smell it. Oh gosh, that did not open. There we go. If we're gonna smell it right away. Oh my God, it looks like a little peanut. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, okay, so there's a paper and nothing else. Wow, that smells really good in there. I 
Don't want to sniff too strong. We're going to get there when we get there. And it looks like we have a birth certificate with the different scents written right underneath and the different kinds of sleeping bags that it could come in. And of course they have their socials at the bottom. This is not sponsored, not affiliated. I review everything on my own. A lot of companies don't want to send me things because they don't necessarily want honest reviews, but this is what I do. You're welcome. <laughs> Wow, that was a little conceited. And the other side, we have the character names and basically what they smell like and what they like. Oh, there's different rares. So it looks like the ultra rares are the gold stars, which means that the, oh no, the cinnamon, cinnamon, I'm a scat man. I'm a scat man. So as I was trying to say, the cinnamon bun lion is a rare one. No. And the other one here is Nina. I'm guessing this is the Neapolitan ice cream one. And of course, the unicorn. Unicorns are always going to be rare. And then we do have a mega rare, which is going to be the sloth, the pig. I didn't know there was a pig. That's cute. But you know what? We'll see. We'll see what we get. Okay, this smells really good. At first glance, <laughs> what does it smell like? This is kind of hard to say, but I definitely smell vanilla-esque. So let's go ahead and unwrap it from this little... How do I do this? Is there... Oh, there's Velcro in the back. My goodness! My goodness! What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Did we just get an ultra rare? <laughs> Hello! We just got an ultra rare! We just got Sprinkles, the ultra rare, and Sprinkles loves to party with Nina, so they do have a best friend and adores cupcakes. And Nina, for our unicorn mega rare, is another mega ultra rare, which looks to be, I'm pretty sure is the Neapolitan. I think I said that one before, but this is the Neapolitan character. It's funny that they made the Sprinkle characters hang out together. And it looks like the scent is indeed birthday cake. I did say that it smelled like vanilla, and it makes sense because birthday cake is basically just vanilla cake with extra frosting and sprinkles, so it is vanilla. But let's take a closer look at the actual plushie. So it is a somewhat flat plushie. There aren't any kind of 3D effects or nose. It is a flat type of embroidery. We have the horn, the ears. We also have a tag over here. And in case you are doubting what kind of scent it is, it does say birthday cake, and it gives us information about what they like to do. It also has a picture of the character. And I'm trying to see where the beads are because it does say that there's beads for scents. Oh, it's in the back of the head. I slightly feel some beads in the back here, not so much in the body, and ba oh, we do have a tail. I love the fact that the tail kind of looks like a flag and it's full of sprinkles. I don't know why the sprinkles kind of remind me of Pickles the Dinosaur from Mariah Elizabeth. Kind of feel like these would also probably be squishy modifications that Mariah Elizabeth would have done as well. We're gonna do it, it's gonna be fun. Duh. But the plushie is cute. It's not the biggest thing ever. There's not much to hug in terms of substance. But gosh, does it smell good. It smells really good. It does have a slight synthetic scent to it, obviously, but not too invasive. I like this. This is gonna be hard. We started with an ultra rare. Let's see if we can get any of the other mega rares. And in case you're wondering, here is what the sleeping bag looks like. It's just kind of a peanut shape. However, I just picked up two random ones. Two, here you go, two from my desk. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling, a very bad feeling, that these are triples of an ultra rare because it's the same sleeping bag and the same eye colors. Did Amazon just send me three ultra rares? So let's go ahead, open it up, and see if that's the case because you can't choose when you buy things online. I have a feeling, yeah, it smells the same. Yep. We can see that that is sprinkles, so we're just going to leave sprinkles back in here. Oh gosh, that is not good news. So we're gonna leave this here. Put you in here. And then the next baggie, I'm hoping we didn't get too many. Oh my gosh. Let's pull you out. Same thing, same eye color, same scent. We're gonna open the back. And it is indeed, again, sprinkles. So we just scored three ultra rares. What the heck? Amazon. I'd be happy with normal ones, as long as they were different. I didn't want three of the same ones. But okay, let's see what else we got. Please be different. Okay, we see a different color. Good for us. All I have is that scent of vanilla up my nose. 
We know it's different, so that's that's good for us. Now the question is, who are we getting? That's cute. So we have an argyle type pattern. I have a feeling this could be the bunny. Here's what it looks like in the back in its little peanut cocoon. And of course we have the birth certificate and all of that. So let's see how well my nose works. Oh, this one's a little fruity. I can't pinpoint what exactly it is. It's kind of like a fruity pineapple-y maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see, no! Is it banana? Is it banana? Oh my goodness, it's a monkey! Okay, let's let's see this a little closer. It is banana! See, I knew it was a fruit. I can smell a little bit of the banana, but to be honest, it smells also a little bit pineapple-y. And the name is Foster. I love to eat banana and jelly sandwiches with Dozy. So these are friends. And it looks like Dozy is the best friend here, which is a sloth. Is Dozy supposed to be grape? Grape jelly. I do like the scent of grape jelly. I'm curious if we're going to get any best friends in this episode, which would be kind of cool. And here's what, what's the name again? Foster. There you go. Foster says, smell me. Okay. This is fine from a plushie, but if anyone ever said that, that's a that's a red flag. <laughs> so here's what Foster looks like. There's a heart shape on the belly. We have cute little sprinkles. I love the color. Here's the little tail, actually quite long. I love the fact that they're not copy paste in terms of all the animals. They actually gave us different kinds of animals. Again, there's heart shape inside the ears. Here's what the back looks like. I think these plushies would have been a little bit more elevated if we had some kind of 3D effect on the face. But otherwise, I do feel the beads again in the back of the head. And yeah, I do smell banana-esque, but again, a little bit of that citrus undertone is somewhere in there. Oh, I didn't notice. We do have a tag and the tag says, OMG, snuggle me. Cute. And there are no weights on either of the legs or the arms. Yeah, there's still that little bit of a citrusy scent to it, but it is cute. And this is our peanut sleeping bag. Now, my curious question is, which I just thought of because of monkey and curious George, is how easy is it to put them back inside? So we're gonna put you back in here and see how well or how easy it is. Gosh, this is actually pretty easy. Okay, there you go. We have a peanut monkey again. <laughs> Very cute. Next one is, okay. Different, good. I don't look, I like surprises, believe it or not. Even if I knew where my Christmas gifts were, I did not peek, I did not check. I'm the kind of person who actually, acts actually, actually, work and I don't, I don't, I can't English. Give me some English. Um, nom, 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 nom. Let me know in the comments, do you like surprises or do you prefer spoilers? I know people on both sides. All right, let's see. Who do we have here and what scent shall it be? This is a cute pattern. As always, we have the birth certificate that's kind of crumpled up. If this were me, I would be a little upset at the fact that it is not straight. Oh wow, that smells good. I smell it all the way here. It kind of smells like a berry or a strawberry of some sort. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. It could be grape. It could be grape, could be berry. Actually, upon closer inspection, it does smell like watermelon, but I don't want to get my hopes up. But let's see who we have here. I love this pattern. It really does remind me of Pac-Man. Really old school game for those of you who don't know it. Basically, your little circle thing, it goes like that. So this pattern really reminds me of this. So let's see who do we, oh. I need a moment. I need a moment here. Why is this unboxing starting to be like good luck? What did I say at the beginning, kitty editor? Actually, upon closer inspection, it does smell like watermelon, but I don't want to get my hopes up. So let's, let's really do check this out because we have the watermelon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why do these look like Mariah Elizabeth squishy makeover characters? My goodness. I am a what? This smells so strong. If the best way I can explain it is the hubba bubba bubblegum watermelon flavor or scent, this is what it smells like. It's that strong. But look at the colors of this thing. Let's check out the name. So here again, we have the smell me tag and the name is Jubilee. I love riding roller coasters with Puffy at carnivals. Puffy is the koala. And what does the koala smell like? Cotton candy, oh my goodness. So we do have a koala character here that looks pretty cute and it's supposed to be a special. I don't know if special is just normal. Is special just common? Is that what we're doing here? We're just calling, we're calling everyone special. I'll take that. You are unique like everybody else. 
So, so far, and yes, it does say watermelon. So far, we have not gotten any kind of friends. I really hope we get a pair of friends. And again, the design is flat. Really wish there would have been more than that. The ears are water, watermelon stretch for sure. What is it with me talking today? I might be ex excited, or maybe it's all the smell getting to my brain, shutting off my talking points. But we do have watermelon slice shapes, is what I was trying to say for the ears. The watermelon part here kind of looks like a beanie or a hat, kind of like what I'm wearing. And then the arms and legs are basically the outer rinds and the inside. We have little seeds over here. And the back, oh goodness, we have a little poofy tail. <laughs> I love the fact that every one of these is a different design. And the beads, you can feel it in the back of the head here. So, yeah. And it is the strongest in the back, but it really does smell like a bubblegum watermelon. Smells really good. But yeah, overall, I think this design is pretty cute. I feel like this is kind of a hat or a hoodie to a certain extent. And the fact that they all have different front is pretty cool too. All right, reaching in. Oh my goodness, why did I throw them on the floor? I don't know, but, oh no, oh no. I think we have, <laughs> no. Every time I say I want something, it's either I don't get it at all, or I'm getting too much of it. I feel like this might be watermelon again. Please, no. This is definitely the same, yeah, I smell it from here. Definitely watermelon. Let's go ahead and open the back. Yep, so we have two of these, and oh gosh, too many of the rares. But we still have more to unbox, so this one does look different, and it looks a little fruity over here. Let's get you out. Oh. This smells extremely fruity. This has got to be some kind of fruit punch, so maybe, maybe pineapple. Let me take a closer sniff. Yeah, definitely pineapple. And if it's not pineapple, I don't know what it is. And the sleeping bag has all sorts of things. They have watermelon, strawberry, cherry, pineapple, oranges. It really does look, oh, it even has passion fruit. Very nice. And here's what it looks like all the way around. Let's see who we have. It's gotta be pineapple, right? It's gotta be. Oh, you are adorable. This is another kitty cat. Wait. No, you're not a kitty cat, you're a bear, never mind. Look at that. We have a pineapple kitty. Let's just confirm it with the tag over here. And this one's name is Penny. I love the surf at the beach with Cinnaba and smoothies. And Cinnaba is the one that is super rare, which is cinnamon scented, and I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we'll see. We have the smell me tag, and of course, confirmed, it is indeed pineapple. This smells really cute. And the pineapple aesthetic is there. We have the little pineapple top here. Again, I really wish there were more 3D effects on these characters. I've seen plushies for the same price tag that really did have way more detail. So I feel like they could have added more frillies on top, a little snout to add more to it, at least on the head. Maybe not the body, but at least on the head. Here again, we have more of the leaves. The arms just have different gradients of green and then the paws. We have the watermelon type effect here. Again. This reminds me of Mariah Elizabeth's design with her cute little burb. And in the back, here's the cat tail. It's kind of low on the tail. I feel like the tail could have been up here. It's a little, I mean, sure, okay. And here it is. Again, I can feel the beads. Oh yeah, a little lower down here, but it does really smell strong. Everything here smells very strong. You don't have to bring it to your nose, but I know if I leave these in my studio right now, I'm gonna come in here and it's just going to smell like everything. And then, Okay, it is a different one. Good, 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 good. This one is blue with a purplish type surrounding. Let's see, what do we have? Oh my goodness, okay, we still have this thing. Oh, oh, it's kinda, it's weird, it's kinda, sm from here, I know, it's, it's quite a distance for me, but it does smell like tea, which I'm going to guess is kind of blueberry-esque. So here's, this is a really cute sleeping bag. Here's our Peanuts sleeping bag. Let's get a closer look on that. It has different characters on it. So we have bear, bunny, kitty cat, a mouse or a dog or a koala. It could be either or. It looks very spacey, very cute. I like this. Here's what the back looks like, which is basically a repeating pattern. Let's get you open. It, hang on, let me, it smells like tea. I think this is blueberry. I think so. I think so. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh wow, it looks fizzy. Kind of looks like soda. And we have some droopy ears. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get a closer look to confirm whether or not it's the right scent. We have smell me. 
blueberry pie. Interesting. The first thing I smelled was like black tea, but black tea blueberry flavor. I don't know if you've seen that there's definitely tea with the smell and taste of blueberry. That's kind of what it smells like to me. I don't smell the pie, but I definitely smell blueberry 100%. And here it says, good day, I'm Blue Bell. I love to sing and dance with Razzie, but I'm very shy. Cute. So it looks like their best friend is Razzie the Raspberry. So let's go ahead and take a look at our blueberry pup. Here we have a kind of blueberry drizzle. There's so many different tones of blues, purples going on here. Again, we're going with the flat face. Looks cute from the front. Something missing on the side, profile wise. Why does this remind me of Blue's Clues? I guess because it's a dog, right? But here are the droopy ears that are pretty much attached to the head, which I don't know why they did it this way. I don't think it was necessary to attach the ears. It would have been nice to have them floopy. And the body kind of looks like soda. I don't know if it's me, but it just looks like fizziness going on here. And then the bottom, I'm guessing, is supposed to emulate the pie crust part of a berry pie. Here's the tail. Very cute. And that's what it looks like. And back, let's feel the beads. Yes, the beads are in the back of the head. Sniff that again. Yeah, it's blueberry tea. <laughs> and that's everything that we got. Is this scented? Absolutely. Is it worth it? It is fun. It's a really cute idea. Would I buy eight of them again? Absolutely not. But I think if you know somebody who likes scented things or even mystery plushies for the unscented version, this is pretty cute. And I think I've seen it go on sale, so keep an eye out for that. And they're not the most expensive. I've seen plushies way more expensive than that that don't do anything at all. They're just there and they're not even that interesting. And let me know which one of the ones that we got is your favorite and did we get the one that you actually wanted. If you want to watch more mystery plushies, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something crafty and different, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video. These plushies... No, hang on. <laughs> I think I'm in, I'm in frame? Am I in frame? Oh, I think I'm in frame. Am I in frame? I'm wondering if I am in frame. Am I, am I in frame? <laughs> Do I need to... Am I in frame? <laughs>